what's up, Josh Fierstein here. So I'm here to issue the $100,000 atheist challenge to anybody that could provide me proof or evidence that God does not exist. Hi, Josh. I'm taking on your challenge to prove that there is no God. I have not one, but seven proofs for you. But first, I have a better version of the knowledge circles. This little dot is your knowledge and the knowledge of people who lived 2000 years ago. And that's very different from the knowledge of the humanity today, gained by the scientific methods. You confine yourself to this little jail of the outdated knowledge, and still you claim to somehow know the absolute truth. That doesn't sound convincing. Meanwhile, the scientists have reliable methods to predict what can be out there and what cannot be there in principle. Now, let's switch to my argument and to the proofs. Proof number one. Statistical. Complexity. God is necessarily very complex if he is a designer, prayer answerer, friend and guide for billions of people, judge and everything else attributed to him. One cannot escape the question of God's own origin. God raises a bigger question that it's supposed to explain how this complex God came into being. God creator is extremely improbable. The probability of his existence equals zero. Proof number two, statistical. Absence of evidence. There are multiple testable religious claims. Absence of proof of any one of them could be explained as coincidence. However, the combined probability that all the claims have no evidence, if all they are indeed real, equals virtually to zero. Hence, complete absence of evidence equals to evidence of the absence. Proof number three. Logical. Multiple religions. There are hundreds of religions, denominations and cults. There is no independent and testable way to prove or even pick one religion as the ultimate truth. Thus, it's extremely improbable that one of them is true while others are false. All of the religions cannot be true. They are mutually incompatible. But all of them are most probably fiction. God hypothesis is self-defeating. Proof number four. Logical. Omnipotence versus all-knowing. By definition, God doesn't have free will if he knows the future. And he cannot change his mind. Because it is the, in this way, the future will be changed. And then it means that God doesn't know the future in advance. So there is an apparent contradiction and paradox here. Logically incoherent construct proves it's all false. Proof number five. Ethical. Benevolent God. Why do millions of children suffer, starve and die each year? Why do politicians and religious leaders lead their countries to killing millions of people? Why is it described in Bible that there are so many genocides? The answer is that the world lives by the law of nature. There is no benevolent guiding power. And what we can find in the books represents the realities of their respective age. Proof number six. Biblical. God is portrayed in the Bible as a jealous, sadomasochistic tyrant. He gives direct orders to wipe out entire cities. He performs flood genocide. He approves rape and enslaved people. These are all the proofs that the Christian God is a fiction. Proof number seven. Scientific. 
the prevailing proven theories in physics, biology, genetics, cosmology, geology all agree with each other and they all contradict biblical and other creation myths and things like virgin birth, walking on water, raising from the dead, bodily ascending to heaven, living in heaven, unicorns, talking snakes, treasury with gold in the house of Lord and other things. Scientifically literate theologians accept Big Bang, community of natural selection, genetics, all proving that Bible is an allegory, is a myth. All of this proves that neither Adam and Eve, nor Flood, nor Divine Jesus existed. And you know what? I have a challenge for you, Josh. I will follow your advice to pray to Jesus, but only after you pray to Allah and to Lord Vishnu. No, you don't want to? You don't believe in them? Neither do I. I don't find it reasonable to believe in any of them, to pick any of them. And it doesn't make any sense to pray or to talk to something that you don't believe in or you don't believe is alive now. Thanks for your attention. Have a good day. And I'm waiting for the check. Bye.